finally summited after what about eight nine hours of going uphill I think we're on the way down and on the way to the river which I hoped I'd get to yesterday I seen a sign it said you can swim as well I can't wait to get in that water uh, gonna show you coming down real time now
well that's a bit of a disappointment <laughs> I was hoping for something nice clean and blue and, uh, and uh, I suppose I could go and get in it but I don't really fancy it I'm guessing they're vultures I hope they're not there for me best tacos ever they were absolutely stunning they cook the meat in this pot it's massive about three foot wide on the country roads uh, 10 liters of water kilo of cat mangoes all the other food i need probably about a kilo of avocado no, not that much. Uh, not sure when I'll hit the village next. I think I fit in between all the mountains. I stay in the valley this route, I'm not sure. They're all beautiful though. Peace out man. Wow. They're ploughing the fields with uh, two with ox and two with horses. And one with oh, two ho oxes and two horses. Uh, I'm not sure if they're having a competition or what like but uh, it's really cool like. <laughs> unusual to see this is where I'm camping tonight 6.30 and it's still super hot uh, that's where I'm camping it's actually better hidden than I thought from the road uh, I don't want to be in the tent tonight it's going to be too hot last night wasn't so bad because it was really windy so it was a bit cool and I was right up the top of a mountain. I had the most beautiful view last night, but um, it was late and I was just lazy to get the camera out. So this is where I'm going to sleep tonight. Put a couple of sticks down here, a bit of an early warning system just in case. Not that it'll make much difference if someone's going to shoot me. Uh, hammock. I'm so glad I bought this. It's got this bit over the top, put some things out and it lifts it up over your head. I'll put my main valuables in this pocket. And then bike here, hopefully there's nothing reflective so people can't see. Just going to do some cooking now. Peace out. Just had this fellow walking up into camp. He's curious what my bike is. And I am, I don't know where he's going. Obviously wild. Hello. Bit skittish. Troop of piglets here. There's loads of them. Just got to avoid this the, uh, picture. And you look at this village here and up here. They do have electricity, but you know, we like to think we're such an advanced civilization <coughs> that these are close to hunter gatherers. They've got electricity, but. Imagine if it all goes wrong, these are the people that will survive, not us. Because they know how to survive already. 
we don't. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you have a problem, the first thing you do is pick up your phone instead of your brain. Like, a couple of donkeys here inside of them. <laughs> Big ears, like the size of them things. So, there you can see the cow on the top of the mountain there. There's cows just dotted everywhere, which is, you know, there's a load up on top of there, which is quite strange because they're normally a herd animal, aren't they? So, that they spread out to eat like that. Different. Uh, I've only seen one person today. It's probably about 11 o'clock. And this is all I've seen. I've seen cows, a puppy, some goats. One man is pushing a bike. I've seen him twice actually, but I, I, I'll count that as once. Um, he walked past me at the, uh, as I was just sort of finishing up on camp. Uh, and then I seen him in the distance later pushing up the hill. These last two days have been the best two days so far. Uh, I had a bit of a push start in the morning yesterday to get up the top of the hill, which I thought was never going to end after a full day of going uphill. And then I had that lovely downhill section all the way down into the into the town. And then um, town, best tacos at all. The meat at that taco joint, you'll see the picture. Uh, after this video probably or before um, with the best ever oh they, they cooked that meat in those big pots and it was absolutely stunning and loads of meat um, then onto this road and yesterday out out the town on this road ups and downs today ups and downs and not seeing anyone all day yet uh, last night sleeping in the hammock <laughs> nearly fell out of the hammock I got in wrong and it was like fell over to the side nearly fell out we spent a rip the uh, mosquito net so I had to fix that with duct tape and then I fell asleep and uh, a truck went by about 11 o'clock I heard it from miles away and I look up and all I see is stars it was, it was absolutely stunning uh, so I didn't get back to sleep looking at the stars for a while and then got back to sleep and woke up freezing. I had to go and get my jacket. Uh, and uh, I woke up twice cold. Once I got the jacket, and once I got my uh, silk liner, and then the second time when I got the jacket, uh, I was still cold. I might, if I'm here tonight, I might get my sleeping bag out, but I think I'll still be sweating in there. But you've got to wait till the middle of the night to, to get in it. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe it's because I've got the air underneath me on the hammock that made it even cooler. So I might put the, blow the air bed up and then put a bit of insulation in between me. But this just makes me smile all the time thinking how lucky I am to be able to do this. Peace out. I love this tree. I love it when they have all that like, stuff hanging down from them like that growing off them. Uh, I should imagine it's just a parasite on the tree, it's killing it slowly, but uh, it does look super cool, especially underneath there in the shade. Little puppy comes to see me. Hello, puppy, puppy, puppy. Hello, mate. And you cute, eh? Oh. Are you the goat, goat? The goat dog. Protect them. Heard a stream running. As I'm cycling past, I've probably got about three litres of water, maybe more. But I had to go down here and test out my um, filter system. So if I'm dead tomorrow, that filter system doesn't work. It's not easy when you're perched on those little rocks over there trying to pump away. That drinking straw is rubbish. Um, I might try the other one. I think there's, there's a bit broken on it. Anyway. Peace out. Another beautiful morning. <laughs> Last night uh, I got woke up. Oh, I'm not woke up really, I was awake. I had to sleep at the side of the road because 
funny enough, it was up and downhill. So on the downhill stretches, I don't think about looking for somewhere to sleep. On the uphill stretches, I start to think when I get to the top, I'll look for somewhere to sleep. So it's a never ending cycle. Anyway, I found somewhere to sleep. It was just at the side of the road, obviously be seen. Uh, so I stopped as it come out the drive opposite sort of explain they went on then later on when it was dark some fella come on his motorbike stopped egged his lights at me turned round went back so I sort of panicked then I thought fucking hell he's going to get somebody to come with him or some people to come with him so I start packing up then they come back it's just a farmer just checking on his land like so he comes and asks me you know, so I, I eventually get across that I'm, I'm sleeping, I want to sleep and I'll go, so they said okay, didn't sleep that well, but got quite a bit of sleep. Uh, then they came back in the morning, said hello, uh, obviously a lot friendlier when they can see you better in the morning. Uh, to be honest with you, these last couple of days have been the best, they've been awesome. But there's been periods of time where it's like, wow, can I do this for a year? Is this what I want to do? Do I really want to do this? Can I do this? You know? Uh, pretty sure I can. Or should I just do six months? Whatever. All those questions creeping in, which is natural, which is just what happens like when I, when I move country, when I, when I go somewhere new, it's there's always when you push yourself somewhere there's always that doubt of whether you want to do it whether it's the right thing whether you should have done it and it's always in those moments of going downhill when my bike's flying and I'm bouncing off things and I ain't thinking about that going uphill in the afternoon when I'm tired uh, that's when I start to think about those things of alright what's up do I want to do this? Can I do this? Uh, it's a bit like a new relationship, you know. I've got the honeymoon period out of the way those first few weeks, and uh, now into the realization of what I've got, got myself into, you know. And I can either embrace it and love it, or I can uh, hate it. Uh, I'm going to choose to embrace it and love it as much as I can, because you know. Who wouldn't love this every day or most days, you know, just bouncing around country lanes. Uh, I'm a bit worried about my brake pads because I'm on the brakes all the time. I've got to go slow. I've got no helmet. My bike's heavily laden and I'm on my own. And also I'm miles from anywhere. So not like as if I'm going out on a mountain bike trip where I've got a load of mates with me, the car's an hour away and if something happens I can easily get to hospital. That ain't happening here and I, and I don't speak the language as well so I've got to take it easy on these, these downwards. Uh, I'll try the next city I get to try and buy some new bike pads. I don't want to be without them that's for sure. Uh, peace out. Nice little park, and uh, great little seat and shade. So I'm gonna take take a couple of minutes here. Hello, hello, babies. How are you? No. A lot of volcanic rock on top of normal rock here. There must have been a. There must be a volcano somewhere close because it's the top layer. Uh, uh, let's see when I get to the top of this hill.
Nature's so resilient. I love stuff that's built a nest there on the power lines. There's lots of them everywhere. I don't know what it is, but you know, they just, nature keeps going, doesn't it?